Hey guys, it's your girl Lashes Tony X. Oh, how are you guys doing today? Happy Shop My Sash Saturday. Um, so as you guys know, um, this is my new beauty space, my new beauty room. Um, so I'm really excited. I'm still trying to like figure out how I want to do the background and stuff like that. Um, some of you guys said egg chair. I put the egg chair in the background for right now. Not sure. All right, so let's go ahead and get to um, reviewing the products that I, I'm actually wearing everything on my face that I pulled for the week and we're going to go over them. I don't know if I'm going to spend too much time going over every single thing, but we are going to go over things. So, the blushes I pulled were these Milani blushes. You guys. I love these so, so much. They're the Milani Cheek Kiss Blushes. And I have realized that, um, which one is it called? Nude Kiss, which is this one, has become a favorite. I'm actually wearing it today. It kind of gives you a little bit of a, like a bronzy, it's nude. So it's like gives you a bronzy, pinky color. I'll swatch it. It's very creamy. Very creamy. Um, it also reminds me, this formula reminds me of the Tower 28 blushes. Um, cream blushes, but those are a little bit more tacky feeling. Kind of like, uh, it feels like a lipstick. Like you're putting lipstick on your cheeks. Um, which I don't mind because it, I feel like it, it lasts long. But this one is more creamy. But they still, something about them reminds me of the Tower 28. But this one is a nude kiss, which has been my favorite. I'm like obsessed with this one. Um, then this one right here I thought would be my favorite. But it's not my favorite. The nude kiss is my favorite. This one is the color, this is Coral Crush. All right. So, absolutely love those. Um, I used, I think I'm going to do a video, you guys, kind of on products I've changed my mind about. Um, because there's a lot of products that I said either I really loved and turned out I really don't love. Or, there are products that I, you know, first time I used, the first few times I used them, I was like, I hate this product. I don't like it at all. But now, it's like up there in like my top faves so I, i'm thinking about doing that video if you want to see that let me know but the patrick ta and this one is she's sculpted is the color that i have um it is a cream contour and powder bronzer duo so i have the color she's sculpted and when I first tried it, I was like, no, I do not love this product. Um, but now, I'm really, I'm like really loving it. And you can see like, I'm like wearing down um, the PT on it. So, I'm like really using it. This right here, I like to, um, the contour side, I've really been loving. Um, not so much to contour my face, but I really like to kind of contour my nose and my bottom lip. If I just want a little bit more of a pouty lip, I'll use this to contour and then I'll use it to contour my nose as well. Um, and then this I'll use for a all over. I'm actually wearing this palette today and I'll use this just to give myself a lot of uh, like bronzy glow. I really love the color of this bronzer. So have been enjoying it even though i did say i didn't like it i am eating my words so like i said if you want to see a video kind of me changing of what i've changed my mind on let me know in the comments but this is definitely one that i've changed my mind on so loving that the foundations that i pulled this is the i've had like something spill in my makeup bag i've been carrying around my makeup back and forth to my grandmother's um, in case I have to go somewhere, do something, and then whatever. So, um, the makeup the foundations that I've been using is the, um, let me make sure I get this name right. Uh, the Becca Ultimate Coverage. 
24 hour foundation. I will say, this is another product I have changed my mind about. Um, even though Becca is going out of business, which makes me really, really sad because they do have a lot of really nice products. I find myself enjoying this, but using it in a totally different way than what I did before. Just like with the um, Charlotte Tilbury, how when I first tried it, I used it totally in a different way and I hated it. I was like, Why? What, what is everybody talking about this product? I, I don't like it. What am I missing? Okay, and then I learned to do it a different way and I was like, oh, wow, this stuff is amazing. I love it. Okay, same thing with this. If you want your makeup to last, I'm talking like, like it says, 24 hours. I can honestly say I wore this for 24 hours and it stayed put, stayed put. But what I love about it is, like I said, it does stay a very long time. But what I, how I changed my mind about it is I added, um, like I told you guys, my trick to a really thick, um, foundation maybe that I don't like the feel of it or the the way it looks on my pores or whatever I will add either like a facial serum or I, I added this to it and I absolutely love it so this is the very liquidy um, flower get real foundation serum and so I just mixed one pump of this and one pump of this and I really loved it. It might, made my makeup go on so, so smooth and my pores look nice. I mean, it looked flawless. And with this, it lasted 24 hours. I remember wearing this the day we did all this moving around and going back and forth doing all this stuff. And I like was, I went to the doctor. I like did all kinds of stuff. And then um, I looked in the mirror and I was, at the end of the day and I was like, wow my makeup still looks like I just put it on an hour ago and I was like what foundation am I wearing and it was the Becca and since they're going out of business I'm pretty sure like everything is on sale so I'm even thinking about picking up a backup of this just to have an extra maybe a little bit of a lighter shade for the winter this is definitely a summer shade for me this I don't even know what color it is because it's worn off but Tiffany Dawn sent me this a while back, but definitely love it. So, like I said, if you can get the Becca foundation right now, I would pick it up. Okay, I would pick it up. Um, I did play around with the Elsie foundation. I'm not obsessed with this, um, but I felt like it did a pretty good job. But I'm not obsessed. It's the Elsie um, Micro what something foundation it has a pump it's in the color sand um i did use it but like i said i preferred this combo right here for my foundation and then let's see what else i used okay so i did use the going coconuts palette um i'm not wearing eyeshadow today because sometimes i just don't wear eyeshadow but this is a fun palette if you just want if you're like me and you like simple looks, I like to pop a shimmer on my lid just like for a quick look. Pop one of these shimmers on the lid and then get um, one of these really pretty light um, shades for a crease. Blend that out. And if you want to darken the outer V, then you have a couple of dark shades in there. Really nice palette. I don't know if this was limited edition or not, but if you can still get your hands on it, it's a really, really good neutral palette. Um, and then I'm still using, um, these concealers. They still have a little bit left. I'm trying to finish them up. This, these are like, to me, they're like my project pan. Even though I didn't do an official project pan this year, these two are definitely my project pans. I feel like I have a, like probably five or six products I'm trying to like finish up, um, because they have so much like so little in it um but i can honestly say i fell back in love with this one <laughs> this is the makeup forever full cover camouflage con uh, concealer and as you can see like i have used the heck out of this this is getting to where i'm like really like squeezing hard to get this out i'm gonna have to cut it soon i'm in shade five and it just really covers i have like this 
pigmentation right here. I think it's the sunspot or something, and I have one up here. It really covers it. Um, and then this is the KBD Beauty Concealer. I really like it as well. I ended up taking the um, stopper out just because I'm so low on this product. But I, I am determined to keep this in my drawer, in my shot mustache, until I finish them. Okay. So, did love that. Um, still using... Oh, I did want to talk about this real quick. Okay. So, I pulled the uh, Makeup Revolution. I told you I got this this one at a TJ Maxx or something. Um, let me read it real quick here for you guys. So, I got this at TJ Maxx. It's the Revolution... Um, pore perfecting primer. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Um, I felt like a grease ball in this. It was so disgusting. I do not like when primers feel, almost feels like if you just stuck your finger in butter and then smeared it on your face. Like, I don't like that feeling. I'm sure if you have dry skin, something like this would be nice or normal skin, but I think, and I think we'll give this to Ashley. She has normal skin, normal to dry. I think she would like it um, more than I would. I've definitely hated this product with a passion. So this is going to be decluttered as we speak. So that's a no-no for me. Um, what else? So I'm still absolutely loving the, um, for uh, a brow product, the Ulta Beauty Brow Tint. I'm still obsessed with this. I'm wearing it today. Highly recommend it. If you can get your hands on it. Oh my gosh. I got the blonde, I think. Let me check to make sure. Yeah, I got blonde, which is honestly taupe. Because it gives me enough darkness to where you can see my brows. Love, love, love. This is $10. And it's probably my favorite brow product of all time. Um, let's see what else do I have to talk about. Okay, so, um... Lip combo. What I'm wearing today. If you guys like nudes, I've been obsessed with nudes. So, I'm actually going to do a nude, like, top favorite nude lip combos. And the one that I've been loving, obsessing over, is, let's see, where is that? These, this combo right here. So, I only have the mini version. I think I'm going to, since I love it so much, I'm going to pick up Charlotte Tilbury. Tilbury. That sounds weird. Am I saying you're right? Charlotte Tilbury? Yeah. Alright. This is the Pillow Talk. And I have this like really tiny mini. It actually, I use it for like my Sephora points or something. Um, it is such a beautiful shade. So, that's what I'm wearing on my lips. And I freaking love it with the combo um, for lip liner. It's my Patrick Ta lip liner and I'll swatch it beside it um and I just kind of it's more of a contour color so I just kind of contour my lips fill it in with this color and then I go over it with the pillow talk so I'm actually like I said gonna get a full size of the pillow talk because I love it so so much um but this color I always forget the name of it so let me check real quick um so this one is called get confused if it's she's strong she's bold this one is she's bold so um patrick ta she's bold and charlotte tilbury pillow talk that's what i'm wearing on my lips it's my favorite lip combo of the week so that's about everything i want to talk about let's go ahead and uh Shopper stash for the week. This is the Cover FX um, blurring primer. So I'm gonna pull this one for the week. So we got our primer. Okay, let's go to um, the next drawer. Okay, so I think I've decided I'm gonna pull this one just because. Um, I don't have a lot of it left, and I would like to kind of finish this up to get it out of my collection. Um, I do have a backup, but it's in a different container. Um, I don't know if they still make it or not, but let me see if I can find it. Okay, this one right here. 
This is the same thing. It's the Estee Lauder Double Wear. But, let me see if I can open it. It comes like this with a sponge tip. And you just twist it and it comes out like that. And then it snaps back on. So this one I have, it's a full tube. I'm in three in one ivory beige and that is the same color um i mean in the bottle but like i said i am almost out of the bottle so i think i'm just going to go ahead and use this the rest of the week i've been really loving um more full coverage lately also i want to apologize about my nails i gotta i'm using like these um kiss press on and they all popped off when i was uh unpacking and stuff so this hand is all they're all off and this one only has three left um i have to either redo them or go get them done so i don't know what i'm gonna do yet but apologize about that but anyway um so i'm gonna use the estee lauder double wear for the week all right we're at the blush drawer so i have cream cream blushes here and mo and there's cream back here and then most of these are um well all these are powders and then all these on this side are cream i have other drawers but this is like the main one that i use right now i am planning on doing a blush declutter as well i just haven't had time you guys and like these are all turned around the wrong way <laughs> i put them in a little bit backwards uh yeah let's see what do i want to use um i really liked the way my blush looked um this week with the milani ones but i'm not going to pull milani again even though i told you this uh the nude one nude kiss oh, i love that so much it's so pretty um i'm not going to use that i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull if i can find them um okay so these are my i was gonna say power these are my tower 28 blushes um these are really pretty so i have what color happy hour and this one is power hour which is a little bit of course more bronzy um they're super pigmented i'm gonna swatch them for you guys wow <laughs> that one is power hour and this one is so i think i said happy yeah this one is happy hour so two totally different colors one definitely more a pink um and it skews the hairbrushes in there it's kind of disgusting this one is more of a bronzy color so i'm debating on using these or do i want to go a totally different direction i'm just gonna go for it we're just gonna go with those okay so we got our blushes okay so we're in my bronzer slash contour drawer and for let's see for contour i think i'm gonna pull this one right here this is um it's actually a eye brightener um from makeup revolution but it was on tiktok it went viral um people were saying this was like a dupe for the charlotte tilbury the one with the little wands and the sponge applicator it does have a sponge applicator um and this color i'll see if i can swatch it for you guys looks like that so i'm gonna pull this to contour i'm not sure what color i have let me see if i can get my glasses real quick and read it for you guys so i can find out deep caramel so i have deep caramel which i feel like it has a cool or neutral undertone so i'm gonna pull this for a contour i've really been liking like i told you guys um not really contouring my cheeks but more more contouring my nose and lip so that's what i've been using contour for so i'm gonna pull this one it's the perfect size so we're gonna pull that bad boy um for blush not blush for bronzer um i am going to pull i'm debating on my glowish by huda beauty i love this one 
this is in 03 tan light or I haven't used this one in a while and this one's by um um l y s love yourself beauty and it's in this really cool triangle packaging um and i'm pretty sure i got the medium color um so i got let's see harmony in the color medium so it looks like that um it's a really beautiful color so I'm going to, I think I'm going to pull that. I've gotten a lot of requests for the High Tide palette. You guys want me to do a look with it. So I'm going to pull this one. I mean, it does have some gorgeous, fun colors. So we're going to pull this ColourPop palette, the High Tide. And I'm debating on a second palette. Um... I kind of think I want to go with this one. So this is the Natasha Denona. This is the mini, the mini gold palette. I was thinking of doing a uh, green look. There's some gorgeous colors of green on this side. So we're going to pull these two palettes for the week. Let's go ahead and go with, I'm debating on the Mario or the Essence pure nude this one's a really nice drugstore highlighter i also like this one um from ulta beauty um okay i think i'm gonna pull the makeup by mario highlighter in golden it's just a really beautiful um gorgeous highlight let's see if i can swatch it really really pretty so i'm gonna pull that one So confused. I don't know which one I want to pull. I do like a good loose powder though. Should I pull a loose and a press maybe? Okay, let's do that. Let's pull the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder and then I'll also pull the Huda Beauty. Like I said, we'll, we'll do both of those. So I have pressed powder and a loose powder. So we'll, we'll get both of those going. Um, I think I'm going to pull this one. This one is an oldie but a goodie. This one is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. Um, I'm going to pull that. And what else do I want to pull? Let's see. Um... Friday. Okay, so this is the um, this is a NARS lipstick, the Audacious, Audacious lipsticks, and this one is in the color. Let me see. I think it's Annabelle, maybe. Let me see. It's kind of worn off. Raquel. Yeah, this one's Raquel. So I'm gonna pull this one. Raquel, um, and then the NYX, um, in London, really been into nudes, so I kind of want to pull another nude, just trying to decide which one, um, we've done the Illa, we've done the Bare Minerals, I think I've done the Patrick Ta, this one right here is like, a fave um i went to target to pick a few of these up to put them in my um giveaways that i do every saturday um and i could not find the shade for the life of me it's 800 uh ferris nude it's such a gorgeous color um and they did not have this shade they were completely sold out and i was like does everybody know about the shade um it's beautiful so i think i'm gonna pull that one as well I can get it back in here. All right, so that's it for the week. Let's go ahead and pick a winner for this week's Shop My Stash. Okay, guys, that was our Shop My Stash for the week. Um, let's go ahead and pick a winner for 
our giveaway. Um, so if you don't remember, I'm giving away a Raydun bag this week. Let me get it for you. It is Raydun. And I told you guys, I picked this up at the beach when I went to the beach. And this is Good Vibes. It has sunglasses on it. It's really, really cute. Um, I showed you guys what was in it last week, so I'm not really going to... I don't want this video to be too, too long because my videos are usually very long. Um, so, you guys know what you'll get in it. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick a winner for this bag. And let me get my phone. Um... Okay, so the winner is Ethan B1213, which um, I can't remember your name, but I know that you said you use your son's um, name or something like that. So um, you won, so congratulations. You will be getting the Raydun Good vibes makeup bag with the makeup goodies in it so it says um can we get a beauty room tour it looks super nice hashtag shop mustache giveaway and yes you can get a beauty tour i am planning on filming that video tomorrow so hopefully i can get it up for you guys soon but let me know in the comments would you rather see a beauty room tour first or would you rather see a empty house tour first let me know because I already have the empty house tour. It's already filmed, but I do need to film my beauty room tour. So let me know in the comments what you guys would like. So again, congratulations to Ethan V1213. All you have to do is you can email me. I'll leave that down below or you can direct message me on Instagram, which is where I'm at most of the time. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about what i'm going to be giving away this week it's going to be a little different this week but i just kind of wanted to do something kind of outside the box a little bit fun okay so i know when i posted this starbucks cup a lot of you guys flipped for it on instagram um i don't know if you guys are all on my instagram but if you are i posted this it is gorgeous um i did find another one i was like looking everywhere for it so it is it has this gorgeous like tiffany blue color then it has like this really dark 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 blue and then it has the dark blue on this side it has purple it's just like this ombre gorgeous cup i mean i i love it okay and the retail value of this cup is let me check. Let me get my glasses and check. It's it's pretty pricey. Um, it is the metal kind, so it does keep your. It's not the plastic one, so it does keep your drinks colder, which I personally love. Um, so this retails for twenty four dollars and ninety five cents. You will also get a five dollar gift card as well in the cup, as well as. I put a little makeup goodie in here, you guys. So, you guys know my favorite lash primer, the Lancome lash primer. You will get you will get a little mini lash primer from Lancome, a five dollar gift card to Starbucks, and you will get a Starbucks cup. U.S. only, please. Um, want this? And you live in the United States, and you follow me here. You're subscribed to my channel. And all that good stuff um then you can win this all you have to do is leave me a comment down below make sure to hashtag shop my stash giveaway and then the following saturday i will pick a winner for this just leave me a comment okay that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this shop my stash and i will see you guys next time bye